So, uh, Bella, thank you for taking over your time to talk about the movie. I loved it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm running a campaign now, so everyone can watch it because I just yeah. loved, um, loved it so much. And congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you so much. And I love this backdrop of yours here. This is great. There's a, uh, there's a lot that I'm looking at that I'm, okay, okay. I see your interests and your likes, okay. <laughs> It, awesome. it's, it's a reflection of personality. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it's not just a background for right. just for the show. It's you, it's you. It's me, of course. <laughs> um, I, I love that. I'm not. I'm. I'm not joking around. I. I, I love the social commentary. I love the look and feel that you know. I, I talked to the director. And I was like, there's so much Sam Raimi and so much Jordan Peele throughout the whole throughout the whole movie that I. I absolutely love this. So I gotta ask when you read the script. Without giving too much away, it's kind of yeah. difficult, right? But with a new script and you you understand where your character was going, what was the thing that told you, hey, I'm not gonna say no to this? Um, honestly, I think that uh, every kind of character, depending on you know where they are in the realm of good and, and bad, um, they all serve a purpose. And I think that ultimately at the end of the day what i what i came to to know and understand is that um that i had a real responsibility in being this uh part of the the story and although my life may look very different than than my characters it's still a, a reality and a representation of people that we encounter in the world. And I think, you know, you know as an actor, you, you, you're not gonna play all the, all the parts that are exactly like you. And um, uh, I believe that acting, to me, it, it's about telling important stories. And if I could do, if I could be a small part of, of um, like a bigger picture, in a, in a greater good. It, like to me, like, you know, ego aside, it, it doesn't really matter um, who I represent in that as long as like the end goal is to bring more awareness and um, like uh, highlight uh, a lot of serious issues that are happening in, in our world today. So it was honestly, um, I'm so grateful for the, for the opportunity to be able to do that. I have another question, which is obviously we have to try to Deal with it without, without going through too many spoilers. But before we go into that one, I want to ask: I, I, the cast was great, and it seemed because to me it translated so much on the performances that it seemed that everyone had a lot of fun shooting this movie. I mean, you can yeah. you can say yes or no, but I want to I want to know which scene specifically was so tough to shoot because everyone was just breaking scene, and it was <laughs> like which one comes to mind that you said uh, we we shot like. 50 times this thing. And we, I, I, I still don't believe we, we got it right. We yeah, just, yeah. We... Uh, there, there was definitely a scene where it was just me and Alan, right? So it's like Mika and Big Mac and they're trying to do some like, uh, some like investigating and they have to do so um, like quietly, right? Uh, and so it was just me and Alan and Alan the whole entire time because he's such just a, an incredible actor and just such a funny guy. He kept improving and saying things that I, everyone, like the, the, the crew, like Diego, like we were all just cracking up, but it was a scene where that wasn't, uh, that, that wasn't to be done. Um, and so it was really difficult, but fun because we would have to keep reshooting because there was just, as soon as like someone would break uh, in like, I heard laughter from like the crew or even Diego, like I would start cracking up. So that was, that was a lot of fun, but it was definitely difficult because I'm like, you can't tell me that like the person in this scene wouldn't laugh at him saying that, like, you know, it's almost like I was like, people are going to think that I'm a bad actor for not laughing because it's just, it's, it's a given that anyone would respond and that's the natural human response. <laughs> I love that. I love that you mentioned Alan. I mean, I, I just, in my review, one of, mentioned, one of the things that I said, so one of the performances that stood out to me was Alan, and Alan was great throughout the whole film. And, and when, I was do, when, when I was doing my, my, my schedule for this interview, I, I told the, the PR people, I need to talk to Alan, so put it yeah. on him. Put Puerto him Rico! On yeah, yeah. For Puerto Rico, yeah, obviously, that, that's another it was the reason that I have to talk to him. Uh, you mentioned something in the in previous question about good and bad. So, uh, which one is it, which one? Without giving too much away, which was most fun, being good or being bad? 
Um, honestly, like, I think that it's tricky because I think that we kind of see sometimes in like, you know, especially in like comics and in superheroes that um, like that there is that black and white of like extremes. But I think what's a lot more interesting is really like bringing humanity even to like the good characters where I, I think that there there's more complexity to us as human beings where you know, someone might be overall a good person in a story, but that doesn't mean that they ha don't have flaws or areas in their life where, you know, they're, they're not necessarily making the best choices. And I, I believe the same thing for, for like the quote unquote bad characters or villains. Uh, they're, they're still, it, it's sometimes like, it, it's weird to maybe like wrap your, uh, make your mind uh, put a villain in a kind of like a, a humanizing way, but it's like, we have to approach characters like that to give them a, some sort of human essence. Otherwise, we don't really learn anything from it and they just stand alone as like the evil thing that we can hate. But if we start to kind of understand a little bit more about motives, like, you know, the whole villain origin story, um, I think that, uh, that that can give its way to empathy in our culture. And, um, you know, if, if a villain has a possibility for redemption, and if we allow that within our society of, of um, allowing people to learn and learn from their mistakes, then I think that uh, we can have something a lot more better in society that is not as polarizing. Great answer, great answer. One last question, if, if you could switch places with another cast member, which one in, in the movie? inside the story if you can switch places with a cast member which one would it be and why <laughs> i mean i think alan alan maldonado his character of big mac either that mac. or um or mr phillips uh done by troy james like the the ability that he has to be able to move his body in such an incredible unique way i mean my gosh it really shows you what we're, we're capable of but yeah i think um even then and, and now it's like I kind of was a little celosa of, um, of Alan's character because he was able to, um, I've recently come into more of like comedic roles. And so that's why I think if I could, I'd, yeah, I'd switch, I'd switch with him. <laughs> Alan, he was the man, he was the man. Bala, again, congratulations on the movie. I absolutely loved it. Can't wait to people will see it. I know a lot of people are gonna love it. So congratulations and thank you once again. Oh, thank you. Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Besitos.